what are we going to talk in this part is actually variables. Let's create a file and the file name I call, call it variables.py. Now, so how do we declare variables? I think first it's good to talk about what are variables. Variables are storage actually you can call them storage or a place where we store uh, our data or it's a memory location it's a, it's a memory location to store data or it's a container it's a, a container so i'm using this the comment to write not okay yeah so for instance, if I say A and if I put five, this doesn't mean A is equal to five. It's not, no. This symbol, we call it assignment operator. We are assigning five to A, okay? I am giving five to A. I am asking A to store five, oh yeah? Yes, you should understand it that way. We are not saying A is equal to five. We are saying here, please A, can you store five in your place? Yeah, it, it means that. So let's print five, I mean A. So I should get five. Oh yeah, great. And then let's store at B maybe in state. I think I usually prefer maybe four and three. And if A, and then how about if I print B? I should get, yeah. Now I can actually see A plus B. And what do you expect in C, you guys? Seven. Seven, because to some, uh, how about if I say print? uh a minus uh, b what do you expect from line number 11 it should be one yeah it should be one as you can see so now we are just printing out before storing but this way of writing is appreciated it, it should you should do it like this we have to store it so i can actually call this maybe instead of C, it's C is lame, right? Total, the total of A and B. How about if I say difference, A minus B, right? How about if I do the uh, product of A times B? And if I call it the division, A divided by B. And if I call the remainder, A modulus, B, we have been learning this, so, and the power or the exponential of A, the power of B. So I want you to tell me, guys, what's the value in here in the total? Seven. Seven, what is in here? That's one, definitely. Yes, so A is four and B is three, it's one. And the product? A is three, A is 12. Yeah. 12, right? 12. Right, right. Yeah, so this means uh, four divided by three. I think this is like 1.33 something. Yeah, there's a noise. Uh, remainder, now when we divide A, four, four by three, the remainder is going to be also one, right? Yeah, it's going to be one. And now A, the power of a B, A, the, A, the power of B, that means four, the power of three. I think I can just show you, this means uh, four plus three, and this means, uh, four minus one, and this means three times, no, 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 sorry, four times three, 
and this means a divided by uh, it's like that they already divided by three and this means four modulus sorry oh i am now mixing javascript and let me just change this uh okay what's a four divided by three no modulus it should be the symbol and this means four the power of three right so uh, we are expecting here uh, 60, 64. 64, thank you. Uh, we're expecting here uh, one, one. And we're expecting here 1.33 something. Well, yeah, something like that. Right. And 12, and we're expecting seven. Uh, my keyboard is jumping. I don't know what happened. Oh, why? Okay, seven and uh, one. So I have to also get it. The same thing, C is not defined, why? Because we don't have that anymore. So we have to, of course, print, hey, print the total. Now I can print, yeah, the total is seven, guys. By the way, when you print like this, okay, seven, what is this seven? Where is it coming? You never know. Give it a label. Uh, the total, total, something like this, yeah? Now I'm labeling it, so it will be so easy, yeah? Oh yeah, great. And then print, and then I can say difference, and then I can print the difference too. So have you seen, I'm labeling it. So this one is actually, I, am, I know that it comes from the difference. And then now if you can say, uh, product and of course you can also make this here if you want and then product yeah and print again a division and you should say the division and the remainder print remainder remainder and print the exponential exponential what we got there yeah now if you print yeah something yeah great now what we have learned is actually variables so a is the variable b is a variable Total is a variable. So it's variable name. How do we know a variable name? Variable name should be mnemonic. Mnemonic, what does that word mean? Okay, let's just the English dictionary mnemonic, mnemonic, uh, mnemonic or something. No, mnemonic. Having this. Uh, I think it's uh, I wrote it PNE PNE. Yeah, I think this is the how it's supposed to be written. Yeah, this is already good. Uh, a mnemonic is a tool that helps us remind a certain facts or a large um, no. I think that's it. What? Mnemonic. A word short yes, form or a sentence yeah. that is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so a mnemonic, uh, as you can say, a device or a memory device is any learning technique that aids information retention or retrieval in the human memory for better understanding. So the point here is actually uh, we put, uh, we make our variables something that help us to remember if I say first name and if I put my name, it's so clear that this is very mnemonic, right? Because it's first name. You don't put anything else. You just put someone's first name. So this is a very, very good uh, variable name. So variable name in Python, we usually make snake case for readability purpose, yeah? Like this. 
first name, last name. Of course, if you say last name, you don't store anything else. It should be someone's name, uh, last name, age. Of course, it's going to be the age of that person. Of course, my uh, age is um, uh, amazingly uh, big, so it doesn't matter. So country, and you may store, for instance, uh, Finland. Yeah, but still it's very valid. And city, Helsinki, okay. Current year, you can say 2021, yeah? So as you can see, I usually put spaces like this, so easy to read, but when you shared your screen, I don't know, you've been omitting the spaces I put in, I can see that your code is like this. No, it's not very fancy for me to look at when you write something like that. So please, for the time being, just do what I do until you get familiar. And then at some point, your code will be very clean and you find yourself following the best practice, okay? Now, current year, actually, any string, any text can be a variable name uh, and except this underscore, we can't use symbols, okay? For instance, I can't use this or this, okay? We can't. It should be the, the, the maximum we use for symbols is underscore. Can we use it for instance, uh, numbers? Yes, numbers can be used. But numbers also should be, shouldn't be in the beginning like this, yeah? That's the rules. But the very good, uh, just to know how to, variable names, valid variable names. First name, okay. Last name, okay. Age, this is okay also. In valid variable names, as you can see, First name, name. It, this means is actually sub, subtracting. You can do that and you can't do that. So maybe you can also go through this. Uh, current year. Uh, you can say my birth year. Uh, and 1920 or 50, whatsoever. Now, some beginners usually say my something, my some whatsoever. So you can just bring this birth year, current year. So the age, if you are looking for the age of the person, so it's going to be uh, current year minus birth year. Yeah. So it gives us the age of the person. And then if you print age, you get the age of this person. He was born in 1952 and now is 2021, right? It's just an ordinary subtraction, great. What else can we include in variables? I think that's everything you need relate to variables. Now let's recap what we have done today. Oh, great, yeah. What we have done actually first, we installed the Python and Python 3.110, as you can see, uh, we uh, downloaded and installed, and then we have checked it if it's really installed by writing Python. And then the version, you got this, or you can just Python short V. Uh, I think it doesn't work in that way. Let me just exit. Uh, so you have to do just Python version to know and if you want to open the Python interactive shell, you can write Python, something like this. And to exit, you can do exit and you have to invoke something like this. Yeah. No, uh, but you can also write py and it will be opened and you can write whatever you want whatever you want. Yeah, how about if we don't write properly for Python? If you just write something like this, you have a bug. So you have to fix it. The process of fixing, we call it debugging. Python is so smart. 
It is showing you where the mistake is actually. So we have to fix, I have forgot, uh, I forgot this additional, the closing quote. Now I have to run. I fixed my back, the process of removing your mistake or finding your bug, we call it debugging. So let's just get out from here, run away. And another thing what we did actually, we installed the Visual Studio code, the code editor we use from now on. Today we have learned using Visual Studio code. We started from this, the taste, and we have practiced this, the automatic operation, the addition, subtraction, multiplication division, the modulus remainder, the floor division, and then uh, again, uh, modulus. But why I didn't include, for instance, the exponential, the exponential, uh, the exponential, uh, how about this? Three, the power of three, and it's going to be 27. Yeah, we have seen it in different places anyway. Uh, Hello world, I have used also this just to print some text, and now you should be very, very familiar with print uh, built-in function and you have to know how to use it, right? Yeah, of course. And then actually we learned a different uh, built-in function, including print, length, input, round off, and then again, more absolute value and the int, the string, the sum, the minimum, maximum type, the bool, range, and the ID, and also the list and the dir. But you don't have to remember them all together at once on the go. We learn them one by one. So just feel, feel free and just be happy. Just knowing print is good enough for today. Uh, what else did we learn? Actually, we have learned also the data types. We have seen uh, number, including int, float, and complex, and the string, and the list, and the tuple, the set, and the dictionary. Okay, list is an ordered list. Tuple is also an ordered list, but we can't modify tuple. And the set, and the set is actually, it doesn't allow duplicates and it's not ordered. The order doesn't matter. Dictionary, the order doesn't matter. And it's a key value, key value, key value, like Sana, Word, Tallow, Ham, something like that. And uh, what else in this file? There's nothing amazing in this file. Yeah, let me see. What is the extension you are using for code colors, please? Maybe I think I am using this one. Uh, uh, this uh, colorizer highlight juice. Oh, I think it's not actually colorizer now. Maybe even I for some reason it has it, it has been removed. And I want to also install this one because uh, how what the, how does it work? As you can see, this is a different color. This is a different color. Yes, this is also nice. Uh, this is something I didn't know, I haven't seen, but I don't need this one. Yeah, maybe you can write a bracket pair. This is really good. So this and this is now, as you can see, purple. Uh, and this is uh, uh, orange. And this is blue. So it makes a distinction between the different blocks, right? So maybe that can help. Yeah, that was today's lesson, guys. Thank you so much for uh, for staying up to this time. You are just amazing.